trip to the United States is never 100% complete if it doesn't include some shopping, right? There are lots of things that Americans may not appreciate about how easy the process really is, but foreigners certainly do. If you shop a lot here, you probably know a lot of what I'm going to say, but I still hope to surprise you with a few ideas in this video. First things first, don't wait until you get here to buy what you're absolutely sure you want. On Amazon, things are normally cheaper and you can read the reviews, but best of all, depending on what you're buying and where you're shipping it to, there are no sales taxes, which is awesome, awesome. Actually, some US states don't charge sales taxes at all. <laughs> Not the case here in Florida, but let me know if you wanna learn more about that. If you're visiting the United States and staying longer than a week and your credit card charges international fees, this is what you do. Leave everything ready on your Amazon account and as soon as you arrive here, you buy an Amazon gift card you find at drugstores or 7-Eleven, for example. Then you make the purchase using this gift card. Your credit card won't be charged for in transaction fees. Amazon tip number two, don't send your package to hotels because some of them charge per package and occasionally they lose a few. You know, it happened to my sister. And then what are you gonna do as they were doing her favor? So this is what you do. Use Amazon lockers, very easy and free. This video here explains exactly how it works. Look at that. When you're choosing the shipping address, you can see what lockers are near your hotel, for example. When the package is delivered, you get a pickup code and you have three days to pick it up. It's safe and I love it. If you enjoy going to retail stores, this is what I do. Let's say I like this cooler here at Walmart. I open up the Amazon app and scan the code to see how much it costs on Amazon. There. Same product, you see? Starting at $36.14, so this is much cheaper here at Walmart but it's not very well rated on Amazon, so it's good to see that too. You never know. Some products are more expensive, others are cheaper. This is why I like to compare. One thing not many foreigners realize is why there are two prices. The small one in red is price per ounce. The lower the better when you're comparing products, as it means you're getting more. At Walmart, I also like to use their app inside the store as it identifies I'm here and sometimes it shows some savings. With the app, you also have your own portable scanner. You see how cool? These are the exact same swimming goggles. It's great actually for cases like this, when there's no price. It's funny how in Orlando, suitcases are always front and center. Something else, after paying, open up the app and look for savings catcher. It's this little icon here. You take a picture of your receipt and they will search online if you really got the best prices. I just opened one I already had here, just to show you guys real quick. This takes a couple of days. Um, and if they find the same thing cheaper elsewhere, you get credits and you can use them the next time you go shopping. Oh, and Walmart generally has free Wi-Fi for all this. Now let's talk about outlets. And there's nothing new in what I'm going to say, but I'm going to repeat in case it's your first time coming to the United States. Every outlet mall offers discounts. There's a savings book that they sell. But if you go online and register at their website in advance, they give you for free before you need it to print and present here. But now, at least the premium outlets, you can just show the information on your phone. Now you don't need to print anymore, right? No, you can just um, log in and we couldn't give you a print. Oh, okay. Do you remember your email and password? Yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Here it is. All you gotta do is log in to your account using their tablet and they're gonna see you're a member of the VRP club. Let me show you in detail what's here. Look at that. So many discounts, Armani Exchange, Adidas, Calvin Klein, $30 of $300 or more. Wow. Diesel, DKNY, Forever 21, 15% off. Cool. Yes, 20 off a purchase of uh, $100. What else? 
Nautica. It's good. Polo Ralph Lauren. I like this store. 10% off. And it goes on and on. Wow. Tommy Hilfiger. Another 10% off. 150 or more. Is this good? Yeah, but it can get better because the shops also give their own discounts. And how do you find out? At the website of the outlet or the mall and also the website of each store. And the savings are different, so you need to find out what works for you. So before coming here, go to the website of your favorite stores and subscribe to their mailing list. You're gonna get discounts like 20, 30, 40% off. And best of all, you can use one discount on top of the other sometimes. Let's say you arrive at the store and it's 50% off. Present yours as well, and they're probably going to honor. But here at the outlets and malls in Orlando, be very careful because there are thefts sometimes even inside the stores. Watch out if someone starts getting too close to you. And here's something else. Don't go back to the car to drop your shopping bags because unfortunately there are thefts. You go back and where are they? Gone. Depending on when you go to an outlet mall, parking lot is so full that it's hard to find a space. So here in Orlando, it's already possible to book a parking spot online. You even choose the location, it's crazy. You see these black signs? These are bookable positions. Here's the app if you're interested. Of course, it's not free. $3 for the first two hours and then $3 an hour. And there's more. There are good and inexpensive stores also outside the outlet malls. You probably know that already if you came to America before, but I'm sure there's someone out there planning their first trip. Stores like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and others sell a lot of great products, sometimes even cheaper than outlets. Let's take a look at Ross. Look at this huge Tommy Hilfiger purse. It even comes with a little pouch. Oh, $119, the original price at Tommy Hilfiger. Here, $34.99. Calvin Klein travel bag. Look at the size. It even works as a carry-on. 240 in the original tag. It's genuine, but from an old collection. $49.99 here. And there's more. Look at this. Dress shirts for $19.99. This even comes with a tie for $2 more. $24.99 this Reebok. Reduced price as it doesn't seem to be selling. Um, and this Adidas, uh, $49.99. In Orlando, there are so many great places you can go shopping. All these stores, as well as international premium outlets, are located in between the north end of International Drive and downtown Orlando. In this same area, there's also Orlando Outlet Marketplace. Ah, more stores here! And there's Mall Millennia, very close. Ooh, some good finds a gap. On the other end of International Drive, there is another outlet mall, <laughs> Vineland. This one is slightly smaller and doesn't have all the other stores around. But if shopping in Orlando is definitely on your list, you should check it out too. You know, same stores sometimes have different models and sizes, really. There's another great shopping area in Orlando. It's around the Florida Mall. Outside, there are even more stores than in the other area we were before. You know, one of my favorites is this, Burlington. Currently, in my opinion, it's among the best in terms of price and variety. Both at the Florida Mall and the Mall of Millennia, there are stores you cannot find at the outlets, like Mac and Apple, and there are coupons as well. Hi, yeah. is it here that I come for this year, the mm -hmm. savings? Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome, okay. awesome, thank you. You're Here there's also a savings book and they even give you this bag full of other offers inside if you get the coupon. There's a link on my blog. Another entire book of discounts, plus all these. Look at this offer by Mac. Show your passport and get 15% off $100. It's only for foreigners. <laughs> Let's talk about electronics. Rule number one, you need to choose your stores very carefully. Some of them look like legitimate. You see Sony, Canon, Apple written outside. Inside everything's cheaper, but you may find fake products and no warranties. 
go to Best Buy instead. You know, at this type of electronic store, they even match prices if you find a better deal somewhere else trustworthy. The main sites used for price comparison are Adorama, B&H, the huge electronic store in New York, and also Amazon, as long as the product is sold by Amazon. All you gotta do is show the deal to the seller. He will go online together with you to see if the price is still good, and it normally works. And here's something else. When you're looking for something very specific, you may not find it in the first store you visit. So go online and uh, research, see if they have the product in the city you're in. And if they do, you buy, but choose store pickup. That means that they're not gonna ship somewhere else, but instead, you are going to pick it up yourself. You get an email saying, hey, it's ready, you can come, and there you go, very easy and convenient. And now, drugstores. CVS, Walgreens, and others are like mini grocery stores where you find from makeup to cookies, but actually Walmart is cheaper than all of them. In my opinion, it's only worth it to buy at drugstores when they send you discounts, and there are some really good ones, like even 30% off. But to register, you must live here because they ask for your address and your phone number. So as a tourist, I'd go directly to Walmart and only buy at drugstores where you cannot find there. I promise I'm almost in the end because I got a lot of things to say. <laughs> These last few tips don't involve shopping exactly, but as it's about money, I think it's important for you to know. If you already know of a restaurant you want to try, go to their website and sign up for their email. They normally send a welcome discount, which could be like a free appetizer. But don't do this too much time in advance because these discounts are normally good for the next seven to 10 days. You'd lose. Also, water is always free and it's not embarrassing to ask for water, you know, for lunch or dinner. A lot of Americans do that. Not necessarily to save money, but because it's healthier. Here's something else. And restaurants, rental car services, or anything that requires pre-authorization, do not use a debit card. Because with the pre-authorization, you'll be actually paying. And then when it's time to pay, you pay it again. So you pay twice, twice, really. You know, but don't worry, you're not gonna lose the money, they're gonna refund, you don't need to do anything, but this whole process may take up to a month. And if you're short on money, you know, it's gonna give you a lot of headaches. If you like this video, hit that like button and let me know. Also, let me know if you have any more tips on how to save money here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm doing one more video here in Orlando and then I'm moving to Miami. If you're not a subscriber yet, come on, join the community. This way you don't miss what's coming up next.